active game day rosters are becoming obsolete in the NFL, and New Orleans Saints head coach Sean Payton is getting tired of the limited space. The Saints finished with just five healthy offensive linemen in a Week 15 win over the Carolina Panthers two weeks ago, forcing Payton to give his two cents on the active rosters. NFL teams have 53-man rosters, but the game day roster has to be 46. Seven players are ruled inactive on game day, whether by injury or healthy scratch. That number is getting too low for head coaches, especially since the league wants to expand to an 18-game schedule at some point. Getting the rosters higher than 53 would be a start, or actually allowing all 53 to be active with injured players that sometimes becomes obsolete. The topic will certainly come up at the NFL owners' meetings this March, something Philadelphia Eagles head coach Doug Peterson is expecting. Those are all discussions that are going to come up, Peterson said. We'll have those in the near future. I always, as a former player, think about roster size, practice squad sizes, active game day rosters and all that. We make do with what we have, and you trust your medical team and your staff to get guys healthy each week and back out on the field. These conversations will definitely I think take place, especially leading up to the league meetings. The NFL has a 10-man practice squad that could be included to the active roster with expansion likely coming. That would put the active roster at 63 players, leaving seven players inactive if the NFL chose to go that route. Practice squads could still be 10 players, leaving a total of 73 players on a roster. A 73-man roster would give more players opportunities to earn a salary, but could also dilute the quality of the product. With all the injuries, the league may not have a choice anyway. Teams could always use extra offensive and defensive linemen, along with secondary help. Just ask the Eagles, who went down to their ninth cornerback this year. The 46-man roster on game day is soon to be, I think, will be soon dated. I think that's gotta change, Peyton said, via Mike Triplett of ESPN. If we're interested in health and safety, and it sounds like we are, at least that's something we talk about a lot, that number should be higher. And that'll affect the overall roster size. And that might cost a little bit more money, but that's the price. Have you ever looked at the sideline during a game? We played Cincinnati this year and we rested starters. You're talking about three different changes, maybe. It's just different than, obviously, college, where you had a large number of players on the sideline. The seven inactive players on game day are for injured players or players that are still developing. Having a few more roster spots definitely couldn't hurt.